Okay, we are now going to visualize the taxonomic classification reports using Krona. We have four reports here. So those are the reports that we are going to visualize. Okay, so the files that have the extension dash reports, those are the reports. A brief description of Krona has been given on the Galaxy tutorial page. So let's go and take a look at that description. So on the Galaxy page, just scroll down to this section. Visualize the taxonomical classification with Krona. So this is the description. It says Krona allows hierarchical data to be explored with zooming multi-layered pie charts. With this tool, we can easily visualize the composition of the bacterial communities and compare how the populations of microorganisms are modified according to the conditions of the environment. We are dealing with a metagenomic data, and so ultimately one of the things that we would like to find out is the composition of the bacterial communities, and that is what Krona helps us to do. Okay, so Krona will generate a pie chart and then we can use the pie chart to easily interpret the data. Okay, so that's one of the advantages of visualization. So visualization, and in this case, Krona given as a pie chart allows us to interpret the data and also a better understand the data. So we are going to call Krona, we are going to specify the data and we are also going to provide a name for the basal rank. We are going to use bacteria. By default, Krona uses the word roots, but we are going to use bacteria because we want to follow this tutorial. So we are going to generate a plot like this and then we are going to discuss it. So let's go back to the terminal and then continue. Okay, so on the terminal, I will first create a directory. So I'll say make the Krona underscore reports. This is where I will save the output file. I'm now going to call Krona to generate the plots. So I'll say kt import taxonomy and then I'll say dash n and then I'll say bacteria. This is the name for the basal rank. And then I'm also going to specify dash O. That is the output file. So I'll say Krona underscore report slash Krona dot HTML. So this is the name of the file. Okay. And we are going to store it in this directory. Krona underscore reports. We are now going to specify the reports. Okay. So we are going to visualize all these reports. The four reports here. So I'll say Kraken underscore reports slash star dot reports. And then I'm going to execute this command. So let's do that. Okay, Krona has generated the plots. But if you take a look at the screen, there is a warning message here. This tells us that some taxonomy IDs were not found in the local database that we set. And because of that, those sequences have been placed in the roots. So the root here refers to bacteria because we named the root as bacteria. Now this issue has been reported a couple of times. I've seen a number of um, GitHub messages that have reported this issue and they have provided some solutions and I will leave the link to some of these uh, pages in the description box. So you can use that to try and then resolve this issue. This tutorial is an introduction one, so I wouldn't go into details with how to resolve them, but for those who may encounter it, just check the links and then you'll find the um, solutions that have been proposed. So I will proceed. So I will check the plot. So I'll do an ls into the Krona directory, the Krona report directory, which is here. Krona underscore reports. And we are going to find this HTML file there. So this file is what we are going to view using our browser. So let's view this file or let's open this file using our browser. So I am going to open it. It's here. The report is here. So this is it. So I'm going to open it using my browser. Okay. 